Considered liposuction. Check. Considered a boob job. Check. Considered a facial lift. Check. Why? Well, that is a really good question. Hey everyone, thanks for joining me. I'm Kay from SexyAfter50.net, the blog about sex, love, and relationships after 50. An online friend recently suggested that I do a video about looking younger. Now, I'm not sure exactly what he meant. He is a man of few words, but if I were to go on a making myself younger kick, I would have my thighs and stomach liposuction, my breasts lifted, and a facelift to get rid of the jowls that are forming. I'd want to do something about my age spots, so I guess that would involve some sort of skin bleaching, and I'd have to find a solution to my neck wrinkles, unless the facelift took care of that. And then regular visits to a dermatologist for skin resurfacing and Botox may be in order. Phew! No, I'm not going to do all that. I'm not even thinking about it. I don't have the money. I don't have the time, and if I did it, would darling husband notice? No, he would not. DH would say, you look exactly the same. You're beautiful. All that pain, money, and risk of complications and infections down the freaking tube, right? So why do we even bother? What are we chasing? Well, I do have a story of sorts and I think it relates because it's about grieving our younger selves. I have met not one, but two men my age in the last two years on airplanes that I have talked to at length because yeah, you get me going and I don't shut up basically. In the course of our conversation, both showed me a photo of themselves in their 20s. Both had dark hair, sexy bodies, and were very handsome was like they were each saying to me wordlessly, I was good looking, here's proof. But you know, what I took away from those encounters is that they were not happy with what they saw in the mirror today. They were grieving their looks and who they used to be. And that made me kind of sad for both of these men. I don't need to be 27 or 37 or even 47 again. I've earned every gray hair and wrinkle and I'm going to get more. And by the way, I have a link in the description this time of my Pinterest board and it's called quotes about great quotes about age, great quotes about age from sassy women. I think you'll get a kick out of it. By the way, Helen Mirren is the bomb. I'm not against personal choice. I think you should live exactly the way you want to, as long as it doesn't harm other people or yourself. And if that includes plastic surgery and dermatology, go for it. But listen, your hair is gray, celebrate it. You have wrinkles, those are indicators of wisdom and longevity. You have skin damage from the sun, You've obviously spent some wonderful time out of doors. You want to grow, cut, or dye your hair? Go for it. You find a face cream that works better than your last one? Hallelujah. Make the most of yourself as you are today and celebrate your life, your uniqueness, and your happiness. And if you're not at a point of celebrating, find a way to be happy and mentally free, no matter what your circumstances. If you need to change your situation, think about doing that. If you need to fix what's been broken, maybe for years, do that. Baby steps, okay? What I always like to say is you do you. Be happy, be unique, be yourself. You and I are perfect just the way we are. And remember, talk to your partner till your ass falls off and then keep talking. If you've had some journey of self-discovery, I would love to hear about it. So leave me a comment and tell me. Au revoir. See you next time.